Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. We're used to hearing and reading interesting stuff about the places we could visit. Subsequently, when we find the location that fascinates us, we think, wow, that's cool. I must add this location to my bucket list and visit it sometime. But what are the locations we should definitely leave off our bucket lists? What about those places where we're not allowed to enter? Well, these places are either just too dangerous, too safe, or even too special, even for the most experienced traveler. With that said, here are the 15 forbidden places you're not allowed to visit. Number 15, Vatican Secret Archives. Located within the walls of the Vatican, next door to the Apostolic Library and just north of the Sistine Chapel, the Vatican Secret Archives houses 53 linear miles of shelving from over 12 centuries ago. It contains gems such as the papal bull excommunicating Martin Luther and the pleas for help sent to Pope Sixtus V by Mary Queen of Scots before her execution. The range is almost peerless in size and scope. Apart from a very small staff taking care of the archives, access is strictly restricted to eligible scholars from very selected institutions of higher education and science, all of whom have to undergo a stringent application process for access to be granted entry. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 14, The Lasco Caves Considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Lasco Cave is a Paleolithic cave located in southwestern France, close to the Dordogne village of Montagnac, that houses several of the most prominent examples of prehistoric cave paintings. Mostly of animals, scratch impressive compositions into the cave's interior walls. Horses are the most common, but it's also possible to find deer, oryx, ibex, bison, and even some felines. Lascaux remained open to the public for many years and tourists flocked to the site, recording over 1,500 tourists a day. It was until 1963 when visits were prohibited in an aim to conserve the site since the carbon dioxide in the human breath started to destroy the painted cave's prehistoric paintings. Number 13, Issei Grand Shrine. The Issei Grand Shrine is a Shinto shrine dedicated to the sun goddess Amaterasu. Located in Issei, my prefecture of Japan, the complex is made up of various Shinto shrines centered around the two main shrines, Naiku and Geku. For the Shinto religion, the Grand Shrine of Issei is a very significant location. Interestingly, the shrine was constructed without a single nail. Perhaps more importantly, according to the Shinto beliefs, this temple is reconstructed every 20 years. Most recently, it took place in 2013 and they keep on using the wood joining technique every time they rebuild the shrine anew and never use nails. Only priests and members of the imperial family are allowed to go there, to keep that place sacred. Everybody else can look at the temple through wooden fences. Tourists are free to wander around the forest, including its ornamental walkways that date back to the Meiji period. Number 12. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault On the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen, about 800 miles from the North Pole, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault was built 400 feet into a mountainside. The facility, which was officially opened in February of 2008, now stores approximately 840,000 samples of 4,000 different seed species from around the world. It's a long-term seed storage facility built to stand the test of time and the risk of natural or man-made disasters. In the case of a major global or regional occurrence, the concept behind the seed bank is to have a safety net against unintended loss of diversity. It operates much like a secure deposit box at the bank, allowing organizations or governments to deposit seed variations in the vault to keep them safe. Highly advanced security systems secure the 11,000 square foot building and access is strictly restricted to a handful of employees. Number 11, North Sentinel Island, Andaman Islands. This small, heavily forested island in the Bay of Bengal is completely surrounded by a coral reef which makes it difficult to reach by boat. 
However, its inaccessibility isn't the biggest obstacle to a visit. North Sentinel Island is populated by a small indigenous group known as the Sentinelese who ignored contact with all other peoples. They're among the last groups in the world to remain untouched by modern civilizations. In 2008, two fishermen were fired upon with arrows and stones by the Sentinelese after their boat accidentally strayed too close in the aftermath of the huge Indian Ocean earthquake Sadly, they lost their lives, but no action was taken against the islanders. In fact, Indian authorities understand the wish of the islanders to be left alone and limit their position to remote monitoring. They also don't prosecute them for attacking people who invade their space. Number 10. Heard Island Heard Island, one of the world's most remote territories, is considered an Australian territory even though it's situated between Madagascar and Antarctica. It's home to a wide variety of animals, including seals, penguins, and marine birds, as well as over 40 glaciers. There were a few reasons to keep this island inaccessible to the public. One of the reasons was that researchers detected a large lava flow from the island's largest volcano, Big Ben, in the year 2000. Another reason was its bad weather reputation, and thirdly, it was too remote. To get here needs a minimum of a two-week sail. Not sure how thirsty one is for some adventure to embark on such a sail, but this is just too extreme. Number 9. Pravchichka Brana The most famous natural arch in Europe is situated in the National Park of Bohemia in Switzerland in northwest Bohemia. The arch is a sign of the national park and one of Czechia's most recognizable natural landmarks. Pravčička Brana was one of the Czech Republic's most well-known attractions until 1982, when it was prohibited for tourists to visit that year. The explanation for the ban is simple. The more tourists who come to the city, the more likely that one day it will collapse. Tourists now see it from afar to avoid the erosion of this iconic landmark but this measure hasn't completely avoided the deterioration process. The erosion process continues due to natural causes and the arch may still collapse in the future, according to geologists. But the ban at least decelerates the cycle and provides us with more time to appreciate it. If it seems similar, then maybe it's because some scenes from the Chronicles of Narnia, The Wolf, The Witch, and The Wardrobe were shot here. Number 8. Morgan Island Morgan Island is one of the sea islands situated just north of Beaufort City, South Carolina. It's also known as Monkey Island because of its colony of free-range rhesus monkeys. When an outbreak of the herpes B virus swept through the monkey population at the Caribbean Primate Research Center in Puerto Rico in 1979, a few hundred rhesus monkeys were transported to an island off the lowland of South Carolina and have thrived in their new home ever since. Breeding at a rate of 750 newborns a year, Morgan Island's rhesus population has now exceeded more than 4,000. For over three decades, the monkeys have lived on this federally protected island, and the only people permitted on the island are researchers who tag the monkeys and take only 500 a year for medical testing. This has aided in a variety of vaccination, polio, HIV, and even bioterrorism research. The island is well secured and off-limits to civilians, despite the controversy surrounding animal testing. Even those willing to break the law to get to the island should bear in mind that the monkeys are highly territorial and don't respond well to outsiders on their island setting foot. Number 7. Povilea Get ready to soil your pants and yell like some little girl who found a colony of spiders in her closet. Ovelia Island is a secluded little piece of land where only the most macho Italians can dare venture. This tiny island lies in the Venetian Lagoon, northern Italy, between Venice and Lido. The island first appeared in the historical record in 421 and was occupied until 1379 when the inhabitants fled the political unrest. The island was then used as a quarantine station for those suffering from the plague and other diseases and later as a mental hospital for more than 100 years beginning in 1776. In 1968, the mental hospital closed and the island has been abandoned ever since. According to some estimates, 50% of the island's soil consists of human bones. It's believed that spirits are wandering the rotting grounds. The Italian Tourism Board forbids visiting the island and involves a lengthy application process, 
where permission must be obtained before you can walk under the human ash-covered land with your trembling feet. But as with most things, you can hire a guy to float you over there for the right price, about 200 euros with no approval required. A good takeaway is that the film The Plague Doctor, a dark psychological thriller set in Venice, is influenced by stories and legends linked to the historical figure of the Plague Doctor, the enigmatic Venetian mask in the ancient Venetian Lagoon Island, well known for its horrific events. Number 6. Mezgorai Mezgoriai is a mysterious and fascinating little town in the Bashkortostan Republic, near Mount Yamantau in Russia. There lives approximately 17,000 people, according to a recent census, but otherwise it's a closed area, meaning you can't enter without a government's official permission. Two military battalions, a clandestine nuclear missile base, and a huge underground complex are believed to be inside. Moreover, it's evidently not depicted on maps, even when maps are graded. The fact that this place is and why it is surrounded by this kind of secrecy is not 100% clear. According to the most reliable sources, it's a nuclear missile site supposedly having automatic missiles that can be remotely controlled. But because government officials don't comment on it, we're still not sure what Mezgorye is about. Number 5. Pluto's Gate the Plutonian at Hierapolis, or Pluto's Gate, was quite a Plutonian in the ancient city of Hierapolis near Depomical in the Denzili province of modern Turkey. The site was discovered by Italian archaeologists in 1965, who, during the decade, published reports on their excavations. No one could survive there, according to the ancient historian Strabo. He wrote after visiting this place that he drew in sparrows and they immediately breathed their last and dropped. Nonetheless, to everyone's surprise, scientists affirmed the prestige of Pluto Gate in 1965. They found out after calculating the carbon dioxide concentration that at night, when the temperature drops and the carbon dioxide is heavier than air, it forms some kind of lake at the bottom of the gate. Number 4. Surtsey Surtsey, a volcanic island about 32 kilometers from Iceland's southern coast, is a new island created by volcanic eruptions that occurred from 1963 through 1967. This is all the more impressive for having been preserved since conception, providing a perfect natural laboratory for the world. Free from human intervention, Surtsey has provided special long-term knowledge per plant and animal life on the colonization phase of new land. In 2008, UNESCO named Surtsey as a World Heritage Site, citing the unique opportunity for scientists to research the colonization cycle of new land by plant and animal life. Number 3. Area 51 Area 51 is the generic name of a U.S. Air Force highly secret facility situated within the Nevada Test and Training Range. The facility is officially referred to as Homey Airport, or Groom Lake named after the salt flat near its airfield. Specifics of the activities of the facility aren't known to the public, but the U.S. Air Force says it's an open training range, and it most likely supports the development and testing of experimental aircraft and weapon systems. Despite being associated with spaceships and communications with the extraterrestrial world, we'll never know as it's completely off-limits to the commoners and even the United States hardly recognizes the presence of Area 51. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on our future video. Number 2. Bazludza You're looking at a very historical place known as Bazludza in Bulgaria. This extraordinary 1,432 meters peak in the central Balkan mountains is made of calcareous and granite. It's a historically important monument that represented the people of Bulgaria and was expected to host their meetings and activities for years to come. Instead, Bazludza lasted for less than a decade until the collapse of communism saw the political philosophy rapidly fall out of favor, and the monument began to deteriorate in short order. The mosaics that decorated the walls crumbled as months of neglect turned into years and the roof showed signs of collapse. 
Today, the doors are locked instead of welcoming the people who created it to keep them out. Number 1. Snake Island It's an island in Brazil, as the name implies, infested with thousands of poisonous snakes. No man even dares to walk on Snake Island, and it's also known to be one of the most forbidden places in the world, and especially Brazil. There's one snake in every square meter of the island, according to some reports. And they're not just some harmless grass snakes that just scare you with their look because they can't do any harm. The snakes which live on this island are the most dangerous species in the world. The Golden Lance Head Viper, whose venom melts flesh around the bite, is amongst them. Whatever the case, the Brazilian government has prohibited any visitors from setting foot there. Researchers who know how to deal with the snakes can only enter the island on the condition of getting a doctor in their squad. 